He said it to make a big man cry. Here's Chocolate Myers of Earnhardt's crew. Well, it don't, don't get any bigger, but I tell you what, I feel about the same way. Look out on pit road. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane to congratulate the man who has dominated everything there is to win in this sport, except this race until today. That's great. There was Todd Parrott, Dale Jarrett's crew chief, other members, other team members of other. Andy Petrie was there. And this will be the longest receiving line in the history of celebrations. <laughs> wow. Yep, I've never seen that, Mike. Not that many. No, normally ever. we'll see two or three or four teams come out there, but this is something. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I had about 10 teams come out when I won this one, but look at this. Everybody knows what it means to the man that's done everything to finally get the Daytona 500. There's Derek Colt, or rather uh, Ernie Irvin's crew. There's NASCAR officials out there. There's Robert Presley's crew. Ricky Craven's team. NASCAR officials. He's shaking everybody's hand, too, if you notice. 59 races since he's been to Victory Lane. 19 Daytona 500s. Twice he led at the white flag and failed to take the checker in first place. But today belongs to the man who grew up at the corner of Coach and Sedan Street in Kannapolis, North Carolina, a mill town north of Charlotte where he worked underneath that house in a garage on his own race cars and those of his father to become one of NASCAR's two greatest champions. He and Richard Petty, the only two drivers with seven Winston Cups on their trophy shelf. Mike, he's a long way from Victory Circle yet, and the crowd's building. And Earnhardt, along with Bobby Labonte, Jeremy Mayfield, Rusty Wallace, and again, Ken Schrader, will have a shot at that R.J. Reynolds million dollar bonus when they post it next time later this season. Last year at Darlington, South Carolina, some question Earnhardt's ability to go 500 miles when he blanked out on the first lap at Darlington, South Carolina and had to climb from the car and go to the care center. Watch this circle, he's going to spin well, out. Ah, <laughs> there goes the grass. Yeah. Goodbye. A smoke show. <laughs> well, the fellow who drives his craftsman truck, Ron Hornaday, likes to do yeah. when he celebrates a victory. And now, look at that throng. Can he get to victory lane from here? He's going to have to have a lot of help from a lot of security people Come to get on, there, guys. it looks like. I Don't want worry. to hear what he has to say. Don't worry. He's won at this racetrack 30 times. He, better than anyone, knows the way to victory lane. 